Welcome, everybody, to our very first episode of RLR Fifth Play Reviews. We are doing, starting off with Love Letter. Love Letter is designed by Seiji Kenai and published by AEG Games, one of my favorite game publishers, I guess I would say. We have a lot of their games. Um, there's a lot of variations on Love Letter as well. There's, um, there's Adventure Time Love Letter, which we just got. Yep. Yeah. There's Batman Love Letter. There's Wizard of Oz. There's Wizard of Oz, I believe. There's Hobbit. The, the Hobbit. And I believe there's one, it's called Letters to Santa, but I think it's still a Love Letter variant. So there's <laughs> a lot of these Love Letter games out there. They're a lot of fun. Uh, we've played this much more than five times, but we've logged five gameplays this year on our BoardGameGeek.com profile, which is in the show notes in the description below. Um, Little Rant and I have played. Uh, Miss Rant has played. Little Miss Rant has played. Um, this is one of her favorites. She's really, really good at it. She kicks yeah. her butt a lot. <laughs> so I don't know what it is, but she's really good. So um, it's a little micro game, very fast gameplay, which I love. I like micro games, uh, things that can just be uh, filler. We've played. We went out to breakfast and w- right. to IHOP, and we brought it with us. And while we were waiting for our food, uh, when Miss Rant and Little Miss Rant are at their Krav Maga class, we'll bring a micro game in play. Mm-hmm. Um, so anything just to fill time. Or I've also played this at my board game meetup group in between games while we're waiting for other people to finish theirs. So they have a lot of purposes. They're versatile and they're very small and can be um, easy to transport. So there's not a lot to it. It comes in a nice little soft velvety bag or whatever that material is. It's got the player aids in there. There's going to be some glare because ours are sleeved. There's 16 cards in the game, and that's it. And then there's little victory point tokens, or I think they call them affection tokens. But there's little they markers to for whoever has won the round. Um, depending on how many players there are determines how many points you need. Like in a two-player game, it's seven points to win. Yeah. Um, in a four-player game, I think it's four points to win. But it, it varies based on it. And then the instruction book. So there's it's very small, not a lot to it. Um, One thing I would highly recommend if you pick up the game and you do enjoy it and play it is sleeve the cards. I can't tell you, I mean, I've mentioned it so many times on on videos and stuff, but sleeve the cards. They come, they're standard playing card size, so standard sleeves. You're constantly shuffling, dealing, you burn cards, and you know, always shuffling and, and going through. It'll just help protect the cards. And, and we've played this game so much that the cards would just be destroyed yeah. if we didn't have them sleeved. So, um, but it's a very, very simple game to play, and it's a lot of fun, and it's quick. Ms. Rent, what do you like and dislike about the game? Well, I can't say that there's anything that I dislike about the game, but there's a few things that I like. I, I like that it's, um, you can, it's easy to take on the go, and that how how the game is played out, how it says what's going on. Oh, the story behind yeah, the I, game. Okay. Yeah, I, I like how that's done. And then I just I like how the cards look and are, and how it shows that like how many there are and what the power is. Mm-hmm. I just excellent. So it's on really the, nice. the the cards have you know really nice artwork on them. It's it's tough to see from from back there, um, but they all indicate how many of each card there are. Now, every player can get a player reference so you can share if you have more than four players. I think it can support up to seven or eight players. It tells you what each of the cards are and what they do, but all the cards obviously list their power, and then they do tell you how many there are as well. Um, the story is that we are all suitors trying to write a love letter to the princess, or at least pass our love letter off. And everyone is trying to win the affection of the princess, and you know, stop the other people or figure out who is, you know, writing these letters so that they're the one whose letter gets through to the princess. So um, in terms of, ga- of gameplay, which uh, uh, Miss Rant alluded to, is there's a little bit of bluffing to it. It's yeah. definitely a deductive reasoning game, yeah. figuring out how many cards are in the, in the game and who's got what and who's been eliminated and what's left and whatnot. So a little bit of bluffing, a lot of deductive reasoning, and... Um, uh, hand management as well. Um, if you've ever played Clue, it's reminiscent to that. In it's some a, it's a little bit, yeah. yeah, the deductive reasoning aspect of yeah. Clue. I think it's a little simpler than that. Um, a whole lot simpler. Yeah, a whole lot simpler. <laughs> there, I mean, because in Clue, you do have the, the person, the place, and the weapon that's burned. there, But that's what you're trying to figure out. In this, 
There is a card that is burned, or in a two-player game, you actually burn four cards yeah. just to make it a little bit tougher to figure out who is, um, you know, who's what. But as you get down there, um, you know, that's where the deductive reasoning comes in. And then it can be difficult, you know, the hand management, sometimes the decisions that you're forced to make um, can put you in a tough spot. But Little Rant, how about you? What do you like and dislike about the game? Well, you can get pretty lucky with the beginning of the game <laughs> with whatever you have, say. Like if you have a guard? If you have a guard, yeah. just flat out say, are you the, the countess? And you get it right. Or if you have the princess and then a baron and get the other person out. Right. Just something ridiculous <laughs> like that. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. And it's and it's the best feeling in the world when you do that to somebody on your first turn. And it's the worst feeling in the world when someone does that to you. When you take it, you start out with a guard and you just take a shot in the dark because nobody's revealed anything. You have no idea what's out there. And you just, you get that lucky. Mm -hmm. And it's hilarious for you and it's even funnier because it pisses the other person off <laughs> yeah. so much it's just because it's it's a shot in the dark yeah right? it makes so, them really it's sad, really funny though. yeah it's really funny when it happens but but it's just as fun uh playing through the game getting mm -hmm. all the other characters out oh, of the yeah. way and then using a guard to be like so every other character's out right here's the last one right you're you've got to be that for yeah. so that's the deductive reasoning when when it's down to the last turn or two, mm -hmm. and you're sitting on a guard knowing that if we go to the showdown, you're going to lose because you have the lowest hit card. Yeah. But you can look through and say, okay, there's only this, this, and this left, and you're able to figure it out, and you take mm -hmm. that guess at the very end yeah. and, and win right before you would otherwise lose. Yeah. Because if it goes to the showdown, highest card wins, and the guard is the lowest. <laughs> so anything you did that you don't necessarily like about it. I can't say that I have any dislikes, just a few nip. Hicks on uh, on how rules go, such as of how many cards that get burned. Oh uh, right, we said in many players. Right, so we either forgot this rule or didn't play this rule. So normally you deal out the cards, or before you deal out the cards, you burn one card to make it more difficult to figure out what's remaining. In a two-player game, you actually burn four cards, what? so you take a lot of cards out of the game. Um, and that was something I think we either missed or we forgot or didn't play or whatever. Because for a while, we did play just burning one card. Yeah. yeah. So, and it's a lot that. easier to figure that out when there's only two players. But when there's two players, it adds that extra, a little bit extra difficulty in, in actually counting cards and figuring what's out there when you have four cards burned. So it's just a rule mechanic. Um, and it's something that obviously you don't have to abide by. You can change, you know, one, two, three, four, whatever, you know, however many cards we like. Um, Myself, uh, some of the things that I liked, like I already said, um, I'm a big fan of micro games, uh, very quick, fast gameplay games. Uh, I mean, a round of this, if, if like Little Rant was talking, um, if you get that guard and you guess for, right the first time, a single round could take 30 seconds. Um, oh, yeah. You know, it can also take, you know, depending on how many players you have, about five minutes. But they're not, regardless of how many players you have, it's not going to take that long for a round. A total game maybe 30 minutes maybe um but if you get really it's lucky. um it, it's portable it's simple it's very easy to learn and teach um in fact miss rant and little miss rant taught one of their friends yesterday oh. how to play adventure time love letter uh nice. and so it, it's it's just it's simple but at the same time there's so much to it and it's it's so much fun i mean for a very simple game it's very very fun yeah um i don't really have any critiques of it or anything i don't like i was trying to think about it and i was like there's really not a lot that i that, that i don't like about it um it you know what maybe uh, to like like little rant said to be nitpicky the only thing that i could say maybe make the bag just a little bit bigger because once you sleeve the cards you know like the, it, the oh, card yeah. sleeves like trying to fit the whole deck into um into the bag once they're sleeved there's not a lot of room i mean even without them but like the the sharp squish. corners on the sleeve versus rounded corners in the bag it makes it a little bit tougher to put it away when you've got it all trying to fit in the bag but yeah. again that's just nitpicky yeah that's nothing really about the game itself so um overall thoughts good. rating on the game miss rand on I a one to ten a... Oh, i give it a ten miss rand gives it a ten little rant 
Well, my rating goes to an 11. Your rating goes to 11? Well, BoardGameGeek.com only goes to 10, unfortunately. So, so that's dial it back one there, Spinal <laughs> Tap. 10, then. Uh, 10, 10 for a little rant. Um, you know, I was, thinking, I was thinking 10, and then I was thinking 9, and I was like, like you know, game. I was like, what would it take to, for, for me to give a 10 to a game? I mean, it would have to be pretty much perfect in every way. And I really think that this one does hit all the it hits all of that the only thing that i can think of like to give it a nine is it's short it's a very fast game which i personally like i know some other people may not like you know fast games like that maybe they want a little bit more substance to take a little bit longer but i was kind of you know waffling back and forth between a nine and a ten and i just couldn't think i was like boy i don't know if there's anything that doesn't make this really a perfect game to warrant not giving it a 10. So I think I'm going to have to give it a 10 as well. I, and I don't say that reluctantly, um, but I really think this is perfect in just about every way because you can sit down and you know play with the family. You can sit down and play with the family, um, but it's also quick and portable. Um, I've taken this out. I've gone out with a friend of mine uh, out to the bar, and we just sat there and had drinks and played Love Letter. Um, and he thought it was weird two dudes playing a game called Love Letter. And I'm like, well, don't think about it like that, dude. <laughs> but we just sat there and, and had a beer or two at the, the bar and played Love Letter, uh, you know, for an hour or so. First and, dates. Um, yeah, yeah first, it was <laughs> such a great first date. I think I'm going to call him again. So... <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it for our very first RLR fifth play review. We'll have more coming as soon as we get five plays logged on our BoardGameGeek.com profile. You can also look at our collection down below. If there's a game that you see that you would like us to review, uh, you can leave that in the comments below. And uh, we will get to that and make sure that we publish a review uh, for that or get some game plays in. But um, we wanted to do reviews after five gameplays because you can get a feel for a game after one playing it once but you really get a handle on it after playing it a few times after going through you know four or five times so um you can also start to develop some more likes and dislikes after playing it multiple times as opposed to the first time well i didn't like this or i didn't like that and it turns out that that was just something that you didn't do right or you weren't understanding so you get a little bit more substance for the game after playing it multiple times so um but if there is a board game uh, that is in our collection that you would like to see us review, leave a comment below. If you like the video, you can subscribe on YouTube. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Check out our streams on twitch.tv slash rantus522 for all sorts of uh, games, video, and board gaming alike. And we will see you for our next fifth play review. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks. Later. Bye. Bye.